Here we have a shot today of both bridges at the river level. What the difference to several weeks ago? Right here we have a shot now is where the rivers meet. The Finby and the Ogmore. I do have to say what a beautiful morning it is as well. Here we are today standing on the spot where virtually the river was to the top of the wall there on the left. What a difference a couple of weeks made. She's looking lovely and tranquil today, the River Ogmo. I have to say, after all the floods recently, the water's looking lovely and clean. And I do believe there's a couple of ducks on the water further down. We can get a closer shot. There they are. Here we have a nice shot for the centre arch on Swanee Bridge. On a lovely sunny day it definitely looks very picturesque through the centre arch on Swanee Bridge. Here we have a view down river. Here we have Swanee Bridge, we are from a view down river. We can't go any further. There's all barbed wire in the way. Most of the limit of where I can go for now. I can head back through one of these arches after. Here we have a view from down river through the centre arch on Swanee Bridge. Here we have a view down river and we should now have a scan towards the bridge. We wouldn't have been standing there a couple of weeks ago folks. There we are. Here we have all three arches on the bridge. We shall now head back through this arch for you. There's a little pond of water here. back through the other side of the bridge. And we should go back up the bank now in a second. Here you go. And here's the shot back through the centre arch again. And here we are a nice scenic view up river. I bet this looked awesome a couple of weeks ago. It is about 150 metres up river from Swanley Bridge. And the birds are flicking about here rather well. I'm not sure if you can see them. There's one down on the stone for there. Oh, just gone.
walking down river. Let's see if we can spot this location. Looks nice and beautiful with all the green foliage growing now. This for here is the arch on Swanee Bridge. This is the arch nearest Tenagan. Here we have a little closer shot for you now of the weir just up river from Swanee Bridge. I bet this was looking awesome a couple of weeks ago when they had all the floods. The way you see that pillar up there, you have seen the river flowing up through that pillar a couple of times for you. Now we shall have a little view down the river towards Swanee Bridge. Colours are looking nice on yet today with all the green. Notice in the distance, that's Swanee Bridge, that's the arch nearest Tinnegan end. We shall get in a bit closer and have a look. There we are. Take a snapshot at the same time. this section there, of course you can see the recent floods is where some of the bank has fell into the river. Here we are now back on top of the bank looking down at the weir. I can see the next decent storm is going to take this one further down the river. I think she's more or less on its last legs. These are looking rather pretty along the riverbank. I should quite see there a little red one in the middle as well. You get a closer shot of it. There you go. Looking rather pretty in the sunlight. Here we have a view up river. Aye, oh, somebody walking down river as well. I don't know if he's going to be a fisherman. I don't think we could just spot him the other side of the bridge. That's the bridge where you have a camping, by the way, folks. Now we shall come back now, have a view down river. Here we got the weir. Some of the stones in the centre have been pushed out with the recent flood, for the look at it. And now we shall have a little scan back down river. There you go. Here we are, reached our destination. We shall head back along the footpath in a few minutes. Now, and this is the view down river. And now we shall bring the camera around. And we shall scan up river, and I wonder if a few will recognise this road bridge here. There should be a couple of vehicles going across here. This is the road into the village, it says, from the bypass. We're now underneath the bridge, more or less. I hope we can hear the traffic going over. Here we are underneath the road bridge. We shall have a scan up river and down river. Here's the bridge we're underneath. And now we shall have a scan down river. And there's a guy down there just 
perched his backside now, ready for fishing. He was on this side of the river a few minutes ago. There he be down by there, look. I won't go too close. And here is the view down river. We shall now head back down towards Swanee Bridge. And along here, you should virtually see where the river reached several weeks ago. You can see all the sandy debris here. And this is a path I've walked along for quite a few years. Well, you can see over here, look where the river reached on its peak. It was six or eight weeks ago when we had them storms. We shall now head back towards Swanee Bridge. And up along the banks by here, as you can see, all the sandiness where the river was, where it reached during the peak of the floods. You may well notice in the background the motorway bridge. And you can see out yonder as far as where the river reached during its peak when they had the flood several weeks ago. And here is the river now at the moment. In the last several weeks have been dry weather. By here we have a ditch, by here. If you ever come down the cycle track going towards Swanee Bridge, there's a brook that goes underneath the footpath. This is where it comes out by. Bone dry at the moment. And carry on up here. Now we're getting down closer now, down by Swanee Bridge. And there's the river down by there. I was going to say as well, nobody allowed to go to Port Hall down by the beach, but if you come down by here, you'll have your own private beach. It turns of sand down here. And here we are now, we shall head back now into civilization. This we got perched on top of the church. Yeah. What have you on there? Oh, keep an eye on the chapel, is he?